What's up guys, Austin Summers here. Today I'm gonna hit the streets and ask girls whether they prefer meeting guys in real life or over Instagram. So let's go find out. I love a good boy from a broken home. Did his balls drop yet? No. Cause like, you're thirsty. I'm gonna expose this name. If you don't approach me, you're a pussy. Do you prefer a guy that approaches you in real life or slides into your DM on Instagram? Real fucking life! Are you a pussy or what? <laughs> fucking come up to me, you bitch! What does it mean about a guy that if he has the balls to come up to you? He has the fucking balls! A guy in your DMs has no balls! Did his balls drop yet? No? <laughs> Yo, what do you think is more attractive? A guy that approaches you in real life or slides in your direct messages? Ew! That's so weird. Why is it weird? Because, like, you're thirsty. Yeah. It's, like, it's always real life. It's always real life. Approaches. Why do you think that is? I mean, it just shows that they, like, want to put in the effort to talk to you. And, like, DM is, like, so, like, I don't know. It's just impersonal, impersonable. Yeah. Yeah, real life. Why do you think that is? Because that is more legit rather than over fucking social media. What can you tell about a guy in real life that you can't tell online? I can get better vibes from a guy in real life rather than I can on online. So I can see how they feel about me, how they actually care about me yeah. versus online. When was the last time a guy approached you? Two weeks ago at a bar. Do you think guys should approach more? Yeah. And if a guy doesn't approach, what does that mean about him? If you don't approach me, you're a pussy. Have you ever approached a guy that you like? I have, in fact. How'd you do it? I just walked over to him and said, hey, you're cute, and it worked out. And did you end up, like, dating him? We ended up fucking, but we didn't end up dating, but th that was fine with me. Have you ever had a boyfriend? I have. And how did you meet your boyfriend? I introduced myself to my boyfriend. Wow. I know, wow. Dude, why don't guys need to step up too? Guys right? need to step the fuck up. Guys need to make the first move. They need to think they're not the pussy and they gotta do it. They have to do it. In real life. In real life, obviously. Why? Because if they slide in on my DMs, that means they're a coward. They're too shy. Yeah, they're too they shy. Have to be like, person. Yeah. yeah. What can you tell from a guy in person that you can't tell online? I feel like they're more confident. Yeah, I feel like they can't hide behind a screen. Yeah. You know? Also their looks, because they can catfish. They could be fucking 500 pounds when they say they're only 150 pounds. What about during the daytime? Do you guys ever come up and say, hey, shouty? Sometimes at the gym. Yeah, at the gym. That's the biggest one, the gym, yeah. Do they ever do it a smooth way, or is no. it always kind of weird? Why? Uh, because they're pussies if they DM us. Why do you think guys don't approach? Dude, they're insecure. You know, different reasons. Do you think they're weak these days? Yeah. Approach me in real life. Why? Why do you think that is? I think if you're an alpha male, you would approach a female in real life, not Instagram. Because, like, that's beta. I mean, how did your boyfriend uh, talk to you? Oh, he was pretty aggressive with it. He so he met you in real life? Yeah, he met me in real life. And you were like, God damn, this guy has balls. Yeah, I liked his confidence. <laughs> I loved his confidence. And exactly. all these yeah, creep, yeah. creepy ass men okay, hold on. message you. So no, I would rather have a man approach me than have a man DM me because he could literally kill me or rape me. Are you jealous of women that were back in the 80s and they just had guys come up to them all the time? Absolutely. I, I strongly want a guy to ask me out in like public somewhere. I'm so desperate for that. We're often told that Instagram is the new best dating app, but unless you're some kind of celebrity that has hundreds of girls slide into your DMs every day, this is probably not the case for you as an average guy. So you're better off probably just approaching women in real life and then using Instagram as kind of like a supplement. If you paid attention in this video, you know that women prefer meeting a guy in real life. They're pussies if they DM us. There are some advantages for you to meeting a woman in real life as well. Number one is that you stand out from the vast pool of guys that are too afraid to approach a woman in real life. Think about the fact that every guy can send a message to a girl on Instagram just saying, hey, from anywhere on the planet. And then add into that dating apps and you get this like vast amount of guys that are just kind of like competing on a more or less equal playing field. And there's just a lot of noise to stand out. 
However, if you meet a girl in real life, like a lot of these girls have only had one guy approach them every two weeks, you stand out massively. Number one, you have the social boldness and the confidence to come up and say hi, and that encodes in her brain so much more strongly than a person in a digital format in her phone. Few men approach at night, fewer approach her in the daytime, and then even fewer know what they're doing at all. And if you wanna learn from my decade of experience in game and coaching guys all over the world, I created the fastest sequential process for learning game ever called Game Transformation. You can find out more by tapping the link down below gametransformation.com. And in those interactions, you can go deeper and make a real solid human connection with her that makes you stand out from the guys even further. Just ask yourself, who do you remember more? A girl that you talked to in real life a month ago or a girl that you talked to online a month ago? The second thing that's a huge bonus for guys is we care about girls' looks. When you meet a girl in real life, you know exactly how she looks. You know how her body looks. You know how her face looks. You know how she smells. You know how like she she moves. There's a lot of things you can tell in real life that you wouldn't be able to tell online where a lot of girls are catfishing you. The third is chemistry. You don't want to waste weeks of your life messaging a girl only to find out in person that it is just painful to talk to her, that you don't get along, that there's like not this effortless communication between you two and it just feels kind of forced. Well, Alice, it seems we both got autism, haven't we? Yeah. Well, that's good to know. So in real life, you can tell very quickly within a couple minutes if you and this girl have some sort of chemistry together. Eventually, once you fucked enough girls, you want a really good quality girl to have a long-term relationship with. And a really easy filter for this is telling within the first couple minutes if you have that connection to decide whether or not you want to go further with her. So when should you use Instagram? I'm not gonna make the extreme point and say you shouldn't use it. In fact, I use Instagram and I have since 2017. But when I'm in a competitive dating market like the US or Europe, what I do is I use a mixed approach. So basically I approach the girl in real life and then I use Instagram as a way to maintain that passive attraction and comfort. So when they're watching my stories, when they're exploring my feed, when they're kind of investigating who my friends are, it kind of builds that attraction over time, builds some more comfort so they feel more comfortable meeting up with me on the actual date. And then when I'm in an easy dating market like South America, America or Asia, what I'll do is I will use Instagram and couple that with ads and creative content and I will promote those things in a way that I get an insane response so I'd be dumb to not use Instagram as my primary source in those places. With a couple of button pushes, I can get tens to hundreds of thousands of women in the city knowing who I am and get hundreds of messages within a few hours. These are things that you cannot do in real life. Like I can't clone myself 500 times and then send versions of myself out into the city to collect contact information and have girls message me. But I can using content and code through Instagram. Instagram. So again, I think it should be part of your strategy, but not the whole thing, especially if you're inexperienced with dating and you're just getting started in this area. You want to make in-person approaching the main thing that you do because it's the fastest way to increase your experience with women, increase your social skills and your charisma. That'll pave the path for your long-term dating success. Just look at anyone that you want to think of that has a great dating life. They all started with cold approach. So while you're thinking, damn, Bilzerian, whether you're thinking people that are really good at dating apps, all these people learned through cold approach the skills that they now use in other areas. So let me know down below in the comments, which do you prefer, meeting women in real life or on the internet? Also, if you want me to do more interviews like this, drop a comment down below and let me know what you want me to ask girls on the street. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button to get more content like this, and I'll see you in that next video. Peace.